Hello, this is Dr. Bill talking today. We're going to have a little different video because we're going to talk about our recent July the 4th holiday and what it means to my three grandchildren who went on a little trip with us. So what I would like for us to do is, first of all, I want you to tell all of our audience what July the 4th means to you. So who's going to start? Um, I can start. What do? Um, I think July, what I think July 4th means to me is probably fireworks and like parades and slushies and candy. Okay. So, Anna Claire, what does it mean to you? Why do we have July the 4th? Because of freedom. And we, how did we get freedom? We won the war. And I, which war was that? The revolution, I think. That's right. And we got freedom from who? Great Britain? Yeah. And Liam, what did July the 4th mean to you? So July the 4th to me means freedom. Basically, we celebrate by what Lynn said, parades, fireworks, candies, slushies, because we have freedom against the Redcoats. The Redcoats. And why is that important that we have freedom? What does that mean? Freedom is just a way to have your own will and do what you want to do, not what the public master wants to do. Okay. What does freedom mean to you, Rennie? Freedom probably means to me like you can do pretty much what Liam said, like you can do whatever, not whatever you want, but what you want without anybody having great control over you. And Anna Claire, what does freedom mean to you? It means independence and doing what you would like to do. And what do you think our ancestors had to do with freedom? Did they fight in any wars or anything like that? Yes, they fought for their freedom, and we are very thankful for that. Okay, and look behind you and see what's behind you there. That's a display of freedom, isn't it? Yes. It's the freedom of talking about no, our ancestors no. who fought in wars for us. Yes. Yes. So, the other thing I want to ask you about is, did y'all meet a hero lately? Yes. I met, uh, I met Hunter Inslee. So did I. He is a uh, men's college world series champion from the Tennessee Vols. He signed my shirt and ball. All right. And who was our gracious host during the time we were there for July the 4th? Aunt Guyanne. Aunt Guyanne. She did a great job, didn't she? Yes. yes. So, what would you like everyone to remember from your weekend and how you spent it, and what it meant to you. Yep. So that's why you don't wait in line to get slushies on the 4th of July. You just leave for 40 minutes. Then it probably still won't be ready, but you only have to wait like five. Okay. So, do you want to say anything to your audience here? Um, always be kind, stay happy, and you only have one life, so live it happily. Okay. Um, what would you like to say, Leah? There is, is cool. <laughs>